Yo, yo, Big Baby JTV. Like, comment, sub, like, comment, and subscribe. Like I always do, I'm a little bit late on the story, but I'm going to get into it, man. I'm going to get into it. This is about famous Toronto rapper. Not really rapper, more so like IG model. You know what I'm saying? Chromaz. Chromaz, Chromaz, Chromaz from the GTA from Canada, up, up north, you know, like me. She decided, I think it was a few days ago, to do a, a little sex tape. You know what I'm saying? With with Adam, 22 from No Jumper, and Adam's uh, baby moms or slash wife, Lena the Plug, right? And why am I talking about this topic? We've been talking a lot on this channel about, you know, the thought era, right? We talk about Britney Renner. We talk about the hoes. We talk about stuff like that, you know? We talk about certain topics that... You know what I mean? Maybe Kevin Samuels will do, will talk about, right? So in kind of that lane, right? And for me on this channel, I declare that we are in a thought generation, right? And where thoughts are getting rewarded, you know, a lot, a lot. And I talk about pimp and I talk about ho and I talk about that kind of part of life, you know what I mean? And not only because I've understood part of it, maybe I participated in some of it, but overall, man, Chromas, right? Chromas, what she's doing now is that she gave up on rap and got back to what she does best. Let me repeat. Chromas stopped rapping and got to what she does best. Now, I'm not here to, I'm saying, hate on her. I'm not here to be negative towards her. I'm not even here to fully judge. I, I, I'm judging a little bit and keep it real. But I'm not here to hate on her for what she's doing. She's going back to her natural habitat, bro. She's going back to her natural habitat, bro. She's going back to the streets. To the streets. To the streets. Okay, let me give you an example, right? I'm a big fan of Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates on a strong on a song called We Are Strong with Lil Bibby, one of my favorite tracks ever. He says uh, in, in one of the lyrics, if rap don't work, back to standing in the trap. OK, so what does that mean? That means that if his rap career doesn't work, Kevin Gates is ready to go back to the trap, meaning he's ready to go and sell drugs and hustle to get his money up. Right. We just saw this a little bit with Freddie Wap. He got indicted for apparently being part of a drug smuggling ring in New Jersey, meaning he was trapping before rap. Right. Started rapping, became very famous, very big in 2015. Right. Quickly quickly went cold no one was checking for bro right and then the feds caught him doing what he was doing before rap what his natural habitat was exactly what kevin gates was saying rap don't work back to standing in the trap meaning chromaz's natural habitat is sucking dick okay in conclusion her natural habitat is selling pum pum that is what she is talented at man have you heard a chroma song, bro? Have you heard it? If you haven't, good for you. If you have, she is not a good artist, fam. She is not a good artist. She is very famous and popular in Toronto for the simple fact that she's very sexy. Yes, she's extremely sexy, right? And she's outrageous on social media, so she kind of has that Cardi B type swag. You know what I mean? Which, hey, Cardi B was able to run off with it. Difference is Cardi B is actually very talented and can rap. You know what I mean? And also Cardi B has a lot of writers who help her rap. <laughs> you know what I mean? And she's also funny. She's also funny. I'll be real. She's kind of hilarious. You know what I'm saying? She has a good personality. Chromaz has a pretty cool personality too. She has some funny-ish, right? But her natural habitat is to be on two knees, bruh. Her natural habitat is to lay on her back. Right. And I kind of I, I salute her for, you know, accepting her truth, bro. By her doing a porno with Adam 22 and Lana the Plug, she's going back to her natural habitat. But guess what? This also closes a lot of doors. Right. People don't want to talk about this, but Cardi B was a stripper prostitute. Let me repeat. Cardi B was a stripper slash prostitute that laid on her back to get to essentially where she is. She used to date a, a famous DJ in New York, 
and that DJ was her boyfriend on Love and Hip Hop. Credit to her, she killed it with her personality and her vibe on Love and Hip Hop, and then was able to finesse a remix and a sample from um, No Flockin', the Kodak track, and was able to get good writers and was able to finesse that into a real, real career, right? She was able to work with it and make it into something, right? And then you obviously have Kim Kardashian. Thought, pure thought. Guess what? The mom pimped her out. Mom pimped her out, told her to do the sex tape with Ray J. They both released it because that wasn't a leak that was intentionally made to be released. And she was able to, with the help of her mom, a.k.a. her pimp, to work towards having a career. Now, she's a clout demon who's extremely famous, right? Now, is Chromaz trying to do that? Who knows? I personally don't think she's trying to do that. I think personally, I watched the tape. It's kind of lit. It's actually not that lit. Leonard the Plug looks better and does a better job. And, and you'll find out why if you check it out. But what Chromaz is doing is that she's trying to, fl to flip her sexiness and do some guap, right? With OnlyFans, with doing this tape with Lena and Adam, you know what I'm saying? She's trying to flip her sexiness and monetize her body. Like a lot of women have done since the very beginning of time, right? Now, will it work? I doubt it. I doubt it because she has not proved yet that she has the talent in the music game. Could she be a great porn star? I think so. I think she has it in her. She has it in her to be a great porn star, right? A great musician? Absolutely not. Look at the city girls. City girls. They're sexy. They sell their body. But they don't have to go on nude, nude uh, uh, do full sex days because they're talented musically. Look at Megan Thee Stallion. Even though she gets annoying as hell sometimes, she uses her body. But she's actually very talented, right? And unfortunately, I don't think that Chromaz is talented at the art of rap, at the art of singing. She is very talented at the art of getting on her knees, bruh. And that's what it is. Is that bad? No. Is it good? Hey, for me personally, I wouldn't want my family members or close friends to do that. But hey, you do you. It's a free country, bro. So what do y'all think, man? Do y'all think that more rappers will go into this? Female rappers? I think yes. I think a lot of people seen their money dry up because of the Rona, right? And said, hey, I'm going to have to make some shake. I'm going to have to get some money somehow. And they chose the poll. They chose OnlyFans. Or they went back to what they already was doing, which is selling Pum Pum at 50 to maybe $100 for 30 minutes, bro. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. And Chroma, she went back to her natural habitat. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below, man. Like, comment, sub, man. It's Crow Messy putting that, that Crow Pussy. <laughs> oh, is she, is, she, is, she, is, she, is she doing it for fun or is she doing it to survive? Let me know what y'all think, man. Big Baby JTV, and I'm out, bro.